Alrighty guys, as the Kirin's in the Dremel Legends T.O.P. walkthrough video. This is going to be part one of two for the standard edition. If you guys are looking for the pocket edition, it will be linked in the description down below. Alrighty guys, so this is the team we're going to be running right here. It is going to be regeneration. I am going to be putting up the graphic right here, just in case you guys do need replacements of any sort, right? And typically, I would be using Garlic Jr. If you guys do have Garlic Jr., use him in Piccolo's place, this Piccolo up here, the purple one, right? So purple for the purple. That Garlic Jr. is gonna save you from so many stuns. Me not using the Garlic Jr. is like shooting myself in the foot, but I wanna show you guys, especially since this is going to be a much more of a difficult season than normally, I want to show you guys that you guys can get through it with regeneration without a garlic junior. We're just going to have to eat some stuns, unfortunately. Yikes. Also, do make sure to put on your equips before starting your path. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do so later on. All right, so the first fight we're going up against is to the left of us is a four-fist difficulty fight. It is against GT. All right, so this is the team formation I'm going to use right here. There's three greens, so I do want to put one of my blues on backup. Um, we'll let this guy get the super attack, right? So he's going to get the Q restore speed. He's going to get a super attack first and foremost. Let's go ahead and just snipe a red with him. Um, I want him to build up a super attack, him to build up a super attack, and then the support right here. And then he's getting a super attack. He's also getting the support from the purple piccolo, as you can tell right there. All right, so low key, I kind of, I just want to get the red out of the way. I think that's valuable. And then we try to get this guy before he stuns us. He might get the stun off, but it is what it is. And then after that, we'll go for attack fours. Um, do keep in mind the USB, the Spear Bomb Goku, he has a, a strike cover change for the green Super Saiyan 4 Goku and the red Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, and he's going to stun us on turn two, potentially. And then after that, let's go for, for the Trunks, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, and then the Pan at the end. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that fight. It actually went pretty well. We did take a little bit of damage right here, but it's it's very early on in the season and we're gonna be able to heal all that up. And our Trunks already has his super attack built up for the next fight. All right, so next fight is straight above us right here. Five fist stage, it is, I, I don't know what to call this, um, but Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken is here. So this is the team formation I'm going to be using right here. Uh, there's double purples, so let's put both of our greens up back up. There's also double yellows, um, but I'd rather bring in my purple here, especially I want to save the super attack with the trunks. Um, this guy is going to get double hills though, so I'm not too worried about him. He's going to get the hills from Baby, and he's going to get the hills from this guy up here. All right, so Loki, I kind of want to do something risky here. I kind of want to go for the Dispo first since our purple's attacking first. Um, so let's try to get him and then the Kaioken Goku because he's going to su uh, super attack us on turn two. I'm going to let you guys know. If I get super attacked, you got to go for the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken first, right? So learn from my mistakes. And then let's go ahead and get the, the hit next. Also, keep in mind, if you're running strike right here, hit does have a strike cover change for the Dispo. So even more so, um, just be careful, right? And then after that, we'll go for, for Basil, Tao, and then Birder. All right, so coming out of that one, we did avoid the super attack, but we did not kill both of those units in turn one. I had to finish off the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken on turn two. For some of you, that might be a little risky. As you can see right here, his super charge was all the way filled up, right? We were very close to getting hit by it. We did not. So if this scares you, if this, you know, makes you shake in your boots, go for the Kaioken Goku first. Next is to the left of us, 5th stage. It is against a Frieza Force. Alright, so this is the formation we're going to use right here. There's double blues. Let's put red 21 on backup, and then we're going to go ahead and continue to save this super attack right here, making use of the super gauge tiles, and then also going to get the power up for the boutiques. Alright, so we have three main targets here. It's going to be the navel, the apool, and the raspberry. Let's go ahead and go for the navel first, since um, Piccolo will do some damage to him, and then boutiques will finish him off with the super. Then we'll go for, for the navel right there, and then the raspberry, and then after that, it's whoever the heck you want, honestly. Um, let's go for the green unit, and then the blues at the end. Right, so that one was super easy. I mean, we used a lot of super attacks, if I'm being real 100% honest with you, so that kind of eh, kind of sucks. But... We did get the full kill. I'm glad we did save the trunk super attack, though, if that was the case. So next is a four fist fight straight ahead of us. It is against the Super Saiyan 3 fight. It's a little bit updated. It has the purple Goku now. All right, so this is the team formation we're going to be using right here. This is basically the all reliable, right, is when you have the Piccolo. Look at that range of support right there, and then the support right here, and then the support right there, and then this guy's chilling up here. 
All right, so the first unit that you do want to go for here is the purple Super Saiyan 3. That dude is the most relevant unit on the team. And then after that, let's go for the Kid Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 one. He is going to stun you turn one. You cannot do anything about it unless you got Garlic Jr. But, I mean, it depends on if you have him or not. And then after that, we'll go for the, the yellow Go Tanks. And then it's basically whoever you want. I'm going to go for the green unit and then I'll go for the red and then Shallow at the end. Shallow, it's pretty, uh, at Super Saiyan 3, I think he de-transforms like uh, after like turn 3 or something. Alright, so that fight was honestly kind of easy. Usually the Shallow fights don't give me too much of a difficult time. They shouldn't give you too much of a difficult time too. Um, but yeah, got the full kill. Next is to the right of us, 5 is difficulty fight. This is our 5th win streak, but I, I mean, you guys already it's not a significant win bonus, right? We're on the gray path still. All right, so honestly, I think we do this. We put both, uh, we put a green and a yellow on backup just because there's the double purples and there's the double reds, right? And then we give this guy the special move tile. He's going to be supporting still a really good range right here. And then obviously hills for those two. And then we're also just making use out of these tiles, the special move gauge tiles. All right, so for the first thing I'm going to tell you guys right here is that Bulma does have a strike cover change for Nappa and the Giblet. So you guys might have to attack her earlier than I do. Uh, for me, I'm going to go ahead and go for Saiyan and Red first, then the Zaha, and then Shallot, and then the rest are going to pretty much just fall pretty easily. Um, for me, I'm going to go for double purples and then a Nappa at the end. So coming out of that one, also pretty easy, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, man... I, I'm not. I'm, I'm actually a little surprised at the tankiness of the Saiyan in red, but that's why we do go for him first, right? Overall, though, an easy fight. Just do watch out for the Bulma for the strike teams that are out there. So next is our sixth fight. This is going to be one of the difficult fights right here. It's a fourth difficulty fight against event exclusive, a new version, a new variation of it. Raditz is on here, guaranteed super attack. Turn one, we have to go for him first. All right, so Loki, I want to do this. I kind of want to just... Um, just burn through the stage as quickly as possible. We have double green super attacks right here. We have the super attack with this guy. And we are going to get a super attack with this guy on turn two. So I think we're actually really set up here for success. I Yeah, so we're good. Right, so for my attack order, I am going to go. So if you guys don't have super attacks built up for this, you, you have to go for Raditz first. For me, I want my trunks to suit ultimate arts. This guy right here. And then we're going to go for the Raditz. And then we're going to go for the DKP. And then we'll go for the Frieza the cell and bojack at the end all right so that fight actually was incredibly easy like ridiculously easy we actually outleft the enemy <laughs> the ai uh we got the lf with the the piccolo right there so we ended it at the turn at the start of turn three right there so the i would say this team is very very squishy but you just got to watch out for that right it's as you can see right here he has a fully built special move gauge all right, so next is straight above us, three fist difficulty fight against LOE. All right, so this is the team formation I'm going to use right here. I'll bust out the double greens. We're going to put one red on backup because of the double blues, one yellow on backup because of the double reds. All right, so I'm not going to lie. I don't want to get stunned by Frost. Uh, we're already going to get stunned by Frieza. Nothing we can do about that, right? So let's go ahead and kill the Frost first. Then we'll go for the LF Cooler because he has a high damage dealing unit, or he just has high DPS, right? And he also has a star strike cover change for Frost. And the yellow Frieza, if you guys are running a strike team, so you guys might have to take them earlier, um, depending on your what you're using and stuff like that, right? After that, we'll go for the red Frieza, the yellow Frieza, the green Frieza, and then Rev's the last, because he's a revival. All right, I'm not going to lie, you guys. Surprisingly, that was very easy. Our trunks just simply one-shot the frost. Like, one blast arts. Just one measly little blast arts. Just took him out. Um, it is a three-fist difficulty, so maybe I shouldn't have expected too much from this, but that was pretty nice. So next is another fight straight above us, 3 fist difficulty, it's against another event exclusive variation right here, but there's 3 blues. Oh no, there's 4 blues. Alright, so this is the team formation I'm going to use right here, I'm definitely not going to bring in my red against 4 blues. Um, and typically I don't like using these key restore speed tiles, but for the sake of just having all the support right here, I don't think this is going to mess things up too much, because our trunks and this guy pretty much attack first anyways, and so I don't think that's going to mess up the, the lineup. All right, so first unit, we're going for the base Broly because he's debuffing when he attacks and then he debuffs our entire team. I think he gives us like blast damage received debuffs. Then we'll go for the cooler. He's giving damage for support for his team. And then Android 13 debuffs us on turn three. After that, we will go for the cooler, this Broly, and then the purple one at the end because he has a barrier. 
All right, so we got the LF on him again. Um, wasn't really intentional, but so we ended it on turn three. One million points off of that. We did get the full kill. That one honestly wasn't that bad. The only thing that sucks is that this Trunks, he has like a significant drop off in key restore speed, like on turn three. And so I was hoping to save the super attack, but since we did have him on the key restore speed tile, he ended up attacking first and he burned his super attack on the purple Broly. So next is to the right of us, four fist difficulty fight against G. T. This one is a little annoying. All right, so this is the team formation we're gonna use right here. This double yellows. Let's put per. Or I was about to say Percolo. I mean, I guess that works. The purple Piccolo on backup, and then we're also gonna put uh, the yellow Piccolo on backup. All right, so for attack order, I do want to get this guy out of the way first because he's gonna debuff lane, the left lane and the right lane on turn two. Let's get him before he does that, and then we'll go for the Super Saiyan three Kid Goku. He stuns us turn one. Nothing we can do about that, but. I have the the Piccolo super attack where it, and he attacks last, so maybe we can go ahead and get him out of the way. Then we will go for the Pan. We'll get this Trunks. We'll get the um, the EX Rildo and then the Red Rildo. The only thing I'm scared of is the placement of this Yellow Rildo because he does have a cover change against super attacks, and depending on who he's covering, he can jump in. All right, so the Yellow Rildo he has a super cover change for the Red Goku. That is tragic bro that is actually i mean no well that's not a big deal actually all right so next is above us 10 fight or the 10th fight it is against majin Buu saga this is probably the most difficult fight of the season we'll see i mean it's still up in the air we haven't finished the season so we'll see what happens this looks awful though look at this this looks terrible all right so this is the team formation we're going to use right here i'm going to save the super attack because i think this is just going to be a better team formation in, in general um so the purple gohan he's going to be debuffing the entire middle row and the middle column so either way your units are going to get hit the only safe places are the four corners so it is what it is hopefully this guy gets a super attack right here or a baby does have a super attack lined up so maybe we can do something with that um i'm not too sure so let's go ahead and jump in all right, so let's talk about this a little bit. So the ultimate Gohan, he does have a strike, a cover change for the, the Kid Buu. Um, the Evil Buu has a blast cover change for the Yellow 18. All right, so for attack order, let's go for the ultimate Gohan first. And then we're going to go for the Supreme Kai, the Fusing Ge uh, Vegito. You got to kill him before turn three or else he's going to turn or he's going to transform into the Vegito, right? And then we'll go for the Evil Buu into the 18 and then Kid Buu at the end. Right, so it wasn't the worst thing in the world for that fight, honestly, but we did come really close to letting the Vegeta fuse, which was a tiny bit alarming. But in terms of HP, we're chilling. Right, so next is straight above us, three-fist difficulty fight. It, it, this one's an, like, I don't even know what to say about this one. This is going to be easy. Right, so this is how I'm going to proceed with this fight right here. I don't want to use the super attack here just because our 21 attacks really fast, and so I think that's a really beneficial super attack and this is a three-fist difficulty fight it's gonna be pretty easy all right so going into this one the the twins the raisin and lakase they have a strike cover change for a thouser and the zarbon just letting y'all know but for our attack order let's go for the bujin first since he will stun you on turn two um then we'll go for for the twins then we'll go for the raspberry and then we'll go for this guy and then the la the, the purple thouser and the, the zarbon are pretty much just fodder we can just go like this i think all right, we got yet another LF <laughs> with our, our Piccolo right there. Easy fight. Three-fist difficulty. You guys shouldn't worry about it too much. So next is three-fist fight to the left of us. It is against this updated fake fusions fight right here, right? Like you have the, the 17. Technically, he's a fusion, right? Because, he, I mean, he, he fused with himself. And then you have Omega, who's also another fusion yeah and then you actually have real fusions on here too and then father son all right so this is the team formation we are going to be using right here i do not want to bring the greens here because there's three purples and one of those purples the super vegito has extra damage inflicted against regeneration all right so the super vegeta has a strike cover change for the legends limited super vegeto and the ex super 17 um, the Super Gogeta has a turn 3 stun plus blue card, and the Super Vegeta himself has a strike cover for the Ultra Omega. Um, we are going for the Ultra Omega last, by the way, because he's going to be supporting his team, and I'm pretty sure he's, like, maybe debuffing us once he gets below a certain th HP threshold. But for the first unit we will be going for is going to be this Super Gogeta, and then we will go for the Vegito. If this works out perfectly for us, our Purple Piccolo and Red 21 killed the Super Gogeta right off rip. And then we super attack this guy with our uh, boot tanks, right? Then after that, we will go for a we'll go for a double purples on it. Or well, we have to. We go for all the purples and then Omega at the end. All right, another pretty easy. We got an LF again. 
We LF'd him with the, L <laughs> the pick color on turn three. So 1.2 million, we did get the full kill. Everyone, even though we brought double yellows into the fight because we're taking out the, the Vegeta so early on, the Omega doesn't really do a ton of damage. It also helped that we put the, we sandwiched the, the yellows in between baby or uh, at the outsides of baby. So for the final fight of the video, it is going up against a boss fight to the left of us. It is against the regeneration fight, AKA the Piccolo fight. It's, this one's pretty new too. All right, so this is the team formation we're gonna use right here. We're gonna sub out one of our greens and we're gonna sub out one of our blue units, which is gonna be the Super Baby 2. I am a little bit worried since there's double yellows. I'm scared for the this Piccolo. So let's go ahead and just keep getting him some heals with this uh, other yellow Piccolo right here. And I think we're gonna go ahead and put this guy on the Kiwi Store Speed tile so he can super attack first and foremost. All right, so for attack order here, since our boot tanks is going to attack first with the super attack, let's go for this guy first, right? Um, and then we'll go for the DKP after that, then the Legends Limited Piccolo, since he is going to super attack on turn three. After that, let's go for the Red Ribbon Army, the Kamikolo, and then Revival at the end. All right, so those guys are doing some big boy damage on me. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Uh, 1.6 million, we did get the full kill. That's the result. Of I mean... Uh, to be honest with you, this doesn't look like we took a whole lot of damage. This guy was taking some hits, though, bro. They wanted him. They wanted him bad. Um, so we did get the full kill. This guy did pop it. We didn't need to rush or anything either. So I think that still went pretty good, pretty according to plan. So let's go ahead and see where we leave off on the leaderboard. It's going to be pretty rough, guys. Please bear with me right here. Please. 28,940 is insane. We definitely getting the 1,000 CC. All right, so that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for part one. Stay tuned for part two. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.